Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm readings. Let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. So I've already pulled up the charms. Let's see what messages comes through today. Divine Masculine, um, this Divine Masculine really didn't know who they were dealing with. I see here that there's some sort of false happiness here, um, an illusion, something that was in disguise. This uh, karmic person who's in Divine Masculine's life is somebody who comes across as like, they look like someone who is happy, who brings happiness, who makes things um for other people like gifts to other people but this person's not genuine and i see also something about a message coming through it is uh divine timing it's like divine timing and divinely orchestrated this message came through that is meant for this karmic person but Divine Masculine got access to this message. Uh, this could have been through like through like a text message or it's it's showing here a message and Masculine got access to this message. The information in this message um, shares something about this karmic person that Masculine start to question like who is this person? What are they doing? It also, uh, the message also mentions something about Divine Masculine. So they got really suspicious here. Masculine felt like they were um, really emotionally invested in this relationship with this individual. And because they were so involved with this person, they didn't really see anything beyond that relationship. Like they, they couldn't see that there was something else happening or something that was going on um, behind their back. Masculine had full trust in this person, like they trusted them. And I see that they trusted Masculine, um, I mean Masculine trusted them with their finances. And I see a message about money. Like this to my Masculine, they worked very hard. I see here they worked very hard, they were saving a lot. Um, and I see here that in the past, Divine Feminine, I've mentioned you too because I see here something about you too in this reading. Um, so when you two were dating or when you were together, you guys did talk about like finances, but you just like not in depth. Like you guys mentioned about like, about like how to save money, like giving each other advice, but like you didn't like tap into like your personal stuff. Like I don't see like, um, like masculine, um, you know, talking about like the exact amount of like savings they have or anything like that. Like you guys didn't go into that kind of depth, but I see in this, um, like you guys, like I see that the conversations you had, like you talked about like, oh, wouldn't it be nice to save money? Like how can we save money? What's a good way to budget? Like that kind of thing, like just general talk, right? Things that could be helpful, useful, like things that you learn, maybe like you read in a magazine or you saw saw something on TV, like you you just talked about, like maybe you talked about, wouldn't it be nice to invest like in a property or invest in a, some sort of business, like those kind of things. Like it was just general conversations that had to do with your future, that had to do with your growth. Of course, you talked about money. You talked about um, like owning a home, that kind of thing. So it was just like general talk about your future. But when it comes to Divine Masca and this karmic person, this karmic person had access, showing access to Divine Masca's wealth. And there's something about a message that Masca receives that has to do with Divine Masca because her name is on it. And it could be even an automated message. There's something about their financial situation that made Divine Masculine question, like, what's going on? So I see that it was uh, divine, divine um, intervention and divinely orchestrated. Like, it's divine timing. 
everything is it's like the right moment at the right time and this is written like it was meant for divine masculine to see something that was hidden from him. it shows here that this this um this was to make divine masculine become aware of what was hidden in the dark about their finances their financial situation again i see hidden uh hidden information about finances they were not aware and it involves somebody it shows here it involves somebody like some matter where somebody may have made a decision for divine masculine when it comes to masculine's finances so masculine is somebody who is a hard worker they are somebody who tries to save and they did save a lot and i see divine feminine in the past like you guys talked about uh, some things about the future about like finances and things like that but it was more of general and you gave each other advice and there were things that you learned from masculine and vice versa right they learned from you as well and when it comes to this karmic person it finances was completely a different like it the topic was handled completely different like differently it was handled in a different way and these two may not even like be like they may not even be married or anything like that but somehow this this um uh, masculine gave access to this to their finances like they gave it to karmic like to get access to something they may have even given them a credit card like there's something here lend them money they may have given them like a credit card in their name or something like that like there's things here about like masculine's finances I and mean, masculine did the best they could like i see here that they want to be the provider they've given a lot they're good at saving they they had a good like advisor like some sort of like professional like it could be like a financial advisor i see educated somebody who's educated in the field who knows a lot about um like um uh, personal like uh personal savings and things like that i see that um this karmic person they didn't want divine masculine to to know what was going on behind closed doors they made divine masculine believe that everything is good then you know it's just like same routine same routine but this karmic person was making some sort of changes to divine masculine's um lifestyle without divine masculine's knowledge like i see here that things were being ordered um could be like new furniture and things like that um but big purchases like big purchases um that divine masculine was not really aware of so this person has a really weird way of like communicating with divine masculine remember how i mentioned like they come across as helpful and happy all the time there's a fake there's a fake what i'm getting in this reading it has to do with like their expressions they're fake like this this person smiles they laugh they smirk like they there's something about their laughter and their smile and their happiness is fake it's just to make divine masculine feel like everything is going well in the relationship that they get along that they they have a beautiful kind of like connection kind of thing that's what this person is trying to portray or make divine masculine believe but i see here that it's all an act like this person doesn't care about those things this person is um interested in masculine's material material uh things like wealth and stuff like that I see that the divine timing is the perfect timing here because it's not too late. This divine masculine is able to like masculine has savings, and I see here that they're able to protect what they have and what whatever is left. Like they have some sort of like way of um, protecting the things that they've worked hard for, and they're going to make some kind of like. quick change where this karmic person will no longer have access to certain things anymore 
this masculine is starting to figure this karmic person out. They started to figure them out. They know their motives. They know their intentions. And this divine masculine is not going to let this um, relationship uh, continue any further. Like, they don't want anyone like this in their life. They don't want this karmic person to be a part of their life. And they don't want to even know anybody like this it's like they they know enough to say like okay this is this is not the type of person i want in my life and they're going to be very straightforward when it comes to um they're going to expose this karmic person they're going to make the, this karmic person know what they know it's like i'm not going to just like break up with them and just say okay bye Matt's is going to be like i'm going to say it to this person's face exactly why I'm breaking up with them and and the fact that they don't trust them it's like I don't trust you and it's like leave I don't trust you with my stuff like I see a lot of these things that are in this reading it belongs to masculine anyways like this comic person they are just there like they don't do anything I don't see this person doing anything yeah just it doesn't matter like you can, you can, the roles can be reversed, right? We're going off of energy, divine masculine, divine feminine. The roles could be reversed. Doesn't matter if this masculine is like, say if this masculine, say if you are, if you're a male and you're a divine feminine and your counterpart is, um, you know, the opposite, right? Like you, it doesn't matter what's, what role you're in, but I see here that this, this um this divine mask is going to tell this person like you did nothing like this person doesn't do anything it doesn't matter like what role they're in they don't do anything like this this um karmic person does nothing they have no um interest in trying to to provide or to contribute to that relationship any in any way Financially, they expect this divine masculine to be taking care of them in all areas. And this masculine does everything. Like, I see here to the point where, like, they work. Like, this masculine works hard. And some of them are working late shift. I see it dark. Like, nighttime. Late, late shift. Night shift. Some of these divine masculines are working two jobs and they like that go on until like from morning to night and like whatever time they do spend at home i see that they're doing all the house chores there's a lot of work at home that they're doing and this karmic person is just like walking around being happy that i'm happy with my life we're happy together that's all that counts but this person does nothing like even cooking like and this the thing is, what I'm getting in this reading, even if Divine Masculine cannot cook, they still cook. Like, even if they're not a really good cook. It's like, they may be good at making eggs, and maybe it's like they're trying to push themselves to, like, learn how to cook. Even if they're not really good at it, but it's like, I have to do it because this karmic does nothing. They cook, they do the dishes, they do the grocery shopping, they do the laundry... They, you know, they are the provider. They work, you know, from 9 to, I wouldn't even say 9 to 5. It could be from even 9 to 9. Like if this person is doing two jobs. I see her at night time, like really late. Like really, really late, like midnight, like past midnight. It's like really dark outside. Like this, this masculine doesn't even know like some days, like what day of the week is it? Is it, what time is it? They may even have like, you know, look, like those blackout curtains so they can take a nap during the day. Like this, there's something about not knowing the time, not realizing like it's a day or a night. It's like they lose track of time because their schedule is all over the place. They're so busy. That's the sad part about it. Like this masculine is really a provider and eventually they're going to shut down like the, because they see here they can't i mean they they have been doing this consistently for years and i see here that eventually they're going to get drained like that's 
shut down meaning they're going to get tired exhausted drained they won't be able to keep up with the routine and the reason why they're doing so much is because they're the provider they're providing for this karmic person they're trying to give everything to this person But then I see here that they eventually find out that there's there's things about this karmic person that they didn't realize. Like when the truth comes out, when they realize that this person is just taking their stuff, it's like, why am I working so hard for this person? For what? Like, who is this person anyways? They feel like this person is taking full advantage of their kindness. Asuka is going to change up the routine. Remember how I mentioned they're going to change things up so there won't be access anymore? So they're going to change things up that's going to really take this karmic person off guard. And then they're just going to be really direct with them and say, Look, I don't trust you. I'm not giving you any more stuff. Like, why am I providing for somebody who does nothing? It's like, it's time for you to go. And this person is going to really say, like, where you want me to go? Like, that kind of thing. Like, we're, don't do this to me. Where do you want me to go? Like, I can't survive on my own, blah, blah, blah. Masculine is like, that's not my problem. They're going to tell this karmic person, basically, that's not my problem. How is that my problem? So, this is the reading for today. I hope you liked this reading. If you like this reading, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. Give a thumbs up. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye.